Welcome to ESR Technologies Introduction to Hazard Identification, part of our Understanding Major Accident Hazard series. In this video, we'll be looking at what are hazards, why we need to identify hazards, how to identify hazards, when hazard identification should be done within the context of a project, and also an example of when hazard identification failed to identify a major accident hazard. Virtually every industry operation involving power, machinery or chemicals is potentially hazardous, with workplace accidents like tripping, falling, electrical shocks being commonplace events. A hazard is any source of potential damage or harm to people, property, the environment or even reputation it's often forgotten how valuable a reputation can be. Historically, following a number of major accidents, pressure has been brought upon operators to cease their operations. A hazard may arise from the physical properties of a material, such as flammability, toxicity or reactivity. The conditions under which it is stored, such as high pressure or temperature, or from misuse or maloperation of equipment. In this module, we are most concerned with the hazards that may result in major accidents. The identification of what can go wrong is an important stage in the risk assessment process. Accidents can only be prevented by anticipating how they can occur. If we don't know what the hazards are, then we can't determine whether they are tolerable or not. Whether dealing with a job safety assessment management of change, or a major project, early identification of hazards is the most cost effective. Comparative methods draw mainly on knowledge gained from experience. These include methods such as checklists and codes of practice from the likes of the American Petroleum Institute or National Fire Protection Association. Advantages of comparative methods are that they are often quick and simple to use and applicable when similar plants or processes are well established with known hazards and years of operation. However, they can be cumbersome when complex plant is being appraised or not easily applied when the plant or process is novel or when low frequency high consequence events are possible. Analytical methods are structured ways of stimulating a group of people to use their knowledge and experience for the task of identifying hazards. These are often run as brainstorming exercises led by a facilitator asking what if type questions. Analytical methodologies such as hazard identification, hazard and failure mode effect analysis FMEA overcome some of the problems of comparative methods for complex, novel and low frequency events. Early identification of hazards is key to the success of any project, whether it be large or small, as the costs of removing hazards or installing inherently safe features will escalate as the project evolves. And if hazards aren't identified until after completion, or worst case, after an incident occurs, then retrofitting could be very expensive or even lead to closure of the operation. The explosion at the NIPRO works at Flixborough in the UK followed the failure to identify the hazards associated with a modification which bypassed one of a series of reactors. This resulted in the largest peacetime explosion in the UK, killing 28 people and injuring 36. Following the resulting investigation, a number of operators developed formal hazard identification processes, which became the basis of the checklist and analytical methods already mentioned and used by ESR technology today. ESR technology has been developing training programs for over 20 years. All of our training is delivered by experts based on their operational and regulatory experience we are able to offer first-hand experience of state-of-the-art tools and techniques 
at a level to meet your training requirements. Training is available as full course or individual training modules, modular live webinars, or on-demand tutorials. For further information, please visit our website or contact Terry Atkinson at esrtechnology.com.